Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I have got an empties video to share with you guys. It has been a really long time since I filmed an empties video. I feel like it's been like three or four weeks. So I was going to film my empties like a week and a half ago and then I was just like, you know what? It's almost the end of the month. I'll just make it like a monthly empties video and I was out of town for, you know, about a week. So it's about three weeks worth of empties. And so I have some Scentsy empties, some vendor empties, and then I have some like self-care empties. So I will try to remember to timestamp in the description box down below. So if you're only interested in vendor or self-care or Scentsy, you can skip to the appropriate video time. So if you would like to see what I've been warming in the month of March, then grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's chat wax. Okay, you guys, so today is March 30th, and I was going to film it tomorrow, like technically the end of the month, but tomorrow is Easter, so happy Easter. I'm going to try to get this edited and uploaded for Easter. So happy Easter. I hope you all have a wonderful day. So it's technically one day shy of the month, but we will be gone to my grandmother's bright and early in the morning for church. And then we've got lunch and we've got Eliana's second birthday party, her second, second birthday party. And then like an egg hunt with like all of the family kids. And then we have Easter dinner tomorrow night with Jordan's family. So it's a very busy day and I knew I wouldn't have time to film. And even if I wanted to stay up late and film, I would be so exhausted. So here we are now. So I'm going to start with Scentsy. I only have four. The first one is Ocean Air and Coconut Water. And I'm sorry, I don't have the scent notes here, but I will try to put them on the screen. Y'all know I'm in my like aquatic sunscreen you know, tropical era right now. And this was so good. You guys, I had never tried it before. And it was, it was just like beachy coconut. It was just really beautiful. And it was a really good performer for me. Would definitely um, get this again. I don't know. I'm, I need to familiarize myself with spring, summer right now. I don't know if this is available, but if it is, I would definitely repurchase it. Next up is Vanilla Waves. I know everybody knows this bar. I love it so much. Even though it's not the strongest performer for me, I really enjoy it. I did this in my open concept one day when I just didn't know what I was in the mood to melt. And this is just one of those universal scents that I feel like everybody enjoys. And so I just popped this in and really enjoyed it. It didn't, you know, it's not the strongest thrower. It's just vanilla, caramel, and I think sea salt. But I love it. It smells amazing. Next up is Blue Coconut Beach. I really like this bar. I know my friend Christine from Christine's Scent Scene really likes this bar. And I like it too. It's kind of like a subtle coconut. It's not in your face. It's just really nice, like beachy, a little bit coconut. It's so pretty. And it's good for like open concept, bedroom, bathroom. I feel like you could warm this anywhere. It's one of those like beachy types of scents without being obnoxious about it. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I know it's not in catalog anymore, but if I found some on the black market, I would definitely repurchase it. And then lastly for Scentsy, this is one of my favorites. This is Breakfast in Bed. And what is in this? Is I think it's like pumpkin possibly. To me, it just smells like a berry pie. I get like a flaky crust note. I get a really sweet, like jammy pie filling sort of note. It's just really gorgeous. And this is a really good performer. I love this bar so much. Would definitely repurchase it. It's just a staple. It's so good. It's a favorite. Okay. And that's all for Scentsy. So now we will go to Vendor. I've got like a little bit of everything. I was just like warming all of the vendors, all of the scents this month. First up is Super Tarts. I warmed Berry Good Cookie. This is House Berry Scent and Sweet Sugar Cookie. This was good. Um, I liked it. It was just like a berry, like raspberry, blackberry, strawberry possibly with sugar cookie. This wasn't the strongest performer, which is odd for me with Super Tarts. Normally, they're all bangers. 
I don't know if this one that was just straight bakery was just a little bit lighter or if this because it was last year, but yeah, it smells good on cold. It was good and strong, but then on warm, I feel like it just was kind of like a medium thrower. It wasn't terrible. I could definitely smell it, but it just wasn't what I was used to. Plus I did this in my open concept and sometimes scents get lost in there. I have really high ceilings and you know, sometimes it happens. So that's okay. Next from Super Tarts, I finished C La Vie and I love this one so much. This is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and pink sugar. And this is just a really good, like fresh aquatic type of scent. Really strong thrower. I loved every second. I did this in my bedroom bathroom and then finished it off in my office. Loved it. Would definitely repurchase it. I'm obsessed. Next from a lavender and speckles, I have two. The first one is calm nights. This is sweet lavender, ice vanilla woods, marshmallows, vanilla, sea salt, driftwood, and a hint of s'mores. So basically it's calm and wild mixed with beach nights and it's so pretty. I love this one so much. I've repurchased it several times. I always enjoy warming it. If you like icy vanilla woods, this is for you. It's that beach nights and sweet lavender. It's beautiful. So, so good. And I feel like the icy vanilla woods is what you smell the most. And then the sweet lavender and then the beach nights. And it's just a really, really nice combo. Calm nights is the perfect name for it. I love to warm this in my bedroom, open concept, office, anywhere. But y'all know I love lavender and I love beach nights. So, and then... The next one from Lavender and Speckles is Vanilla Birch and Honey. This is Acacia Honey, Peach Nectar, Sweet Mandarin, Vanilla, and Birch. I am scared of peach scents, but you guys, I really enjoyed this one. So the birch and that woody birch mixed with the sweetness of the honey. And I feel like the peach nectar, it being a nectar, is even sweeter. And so it meshes really well with the honey. I don't get a whole ton of sweet mandarin. But again, it probably just adds a little bit of sweetness. But this did so good. I really like Beth's birch note, and I love birch in general. And so I just love like opposing scents like that. Like you get a really woodsy, tree, like barky type of scent. And then with a really, really sweet scent, I feel like they just go really well together. And so I really enjoyed this. It was a really strong performer. Would definitely repurchase it. Okay, and next is from Rose Girls. I warmed Outer Banks, which is sea salt, cocoa bean, and marshmallow fireside. I remember when I got this, it was kind of a wild card because of that cocoa bean. And I don't really like cocoa and wax or chocolate in general in wax. So the sea salt kind of gave it like a fresh vibe. And then the marshmallow fireside, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of smoky. And then that cocoa bean just gave it a little bit of extra like richness and creaminess and added some depth to it. It was so good, you guys. When I warmed this, like on cold, you could smell like a hint of cocoa. So it just like, it doesn't scream chocolate, but you could tell it was there. But on warm, I feel like it just smoothed it out so well. And it was just so beautiful. Really good performer as well. I would definitely repurchase this. I really liked it. That is Outer Banks. And then I warmed Beach Bonfire. This is Campfire Marshmallows, Vanilla Lace, and Marshmallow Fireside. I fell in love with this scent last year. I'm going to say probably like spring-ish time. And I got one bag of it, warmed it, and was like, oh my gosh, I have to have more of it. It did really well. I did this in my open concept, I think, two different days. And it's a little smoky, a little sweet, and a little like warm body care. It's just beautiful. If you've never tried this, I highly recommend it. It's just really nice. And it would be great like if you had company coming over. It's just one of those scents that just smells good. And people are like, oh, what are you warming? It's not really perfumey. It's not really gourmand. It's not, it's just, it just smells good. But it's like a lighter scent too. It's hard to explain, but it's so good. I have two more bags of this. And it's one of those scents that I will always continue to purchase from Rose Girls. I really love it. Okay, and lastly, I think for the duplicates is something so exciting, you guys. This is CQ Handcrafted Wax Melts. This is our very own Anya Wickless with Curly Q here on YouTube. She is a dear friend of mine, 
and we live very close together. And so me, her, and Beth from Lavender and Speckles try to get together once a month, once every other month, and just have like a girls' night hangout session. We can talk about wax, and it's so much fun. But Anya finally opened up her shop, you guys. I didn't even know. Today was Eliana's birthday party here at our house. And so I was busy like all day long getting stuff ready for that. And so she announced it on her Instagram and I missed it. And so after the party, after I cleaned up and kind of like just like zoned out for a little bit, I got on her chat and was catching up with everything and saw she opened. And so I ran to the website and I'm so excited for her, you guys. Most everything was sold out. And so she said she would probably be restocking in about four weeks. So if you missed it, definitely go and subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on Instagram for updates. But I'm so thrilled for her. She so kindly let me try her wax for like the last couple of months to kind of like test things out and see how it went. And so I've got two empties from Anya. So the first one is sugar cookie dough, lemon icebox cookies, sweet lavender, and cake batter. Doesn't that just sound amazing? So let's see. I've been really into like lavender and lemon blends recently. I've always loved lavender. I'm kind of getting back into lemon. And so I wanted to try this one. So this to me was mostly lemon with a hint of lavender. And I know Anya said she had another blend that was like a little bit more lavender and with like a hint of lemon. I can't remember what it's called, but I liked this one, but I would just prefer it the opposite way. That's just a scent preference for me because I'm more of a lavender person than a lemon right now. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. If you like lemon with like a little bit of lavender, I think you would really like this one. I don't know the name of it or if she just, cause it just has the scent note. So I don't know if she named it something else in her shop. And then the next one, you guys, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So um, I have been dreaming of someone to do this scent for me in wax for forever. Um, this is something that I've been doing myself with perfume for a while. And um, so I asked Anya when she was letting me test out her wax. I'm like, hey, if I get some oils or if you find some oils, I'll pay for them if you can blend this for me. Like, I just want to try it. I love it on perfume. I want to see how it does in wax. I think it would be a banger. I think it would smell amazing. And she was like, yeah, sure, I'll look for it. And she did. She poured it. And I am obsessed. Like, I'm biased. I know because I asked her and because I've been doing it perfume. But you guys, it's amazing. It is called Little Black Dress. And it is tobacco, vanilla, and lost cherry, both Tom Ford types. I love to blend those perfumes together. I love to do lost cherry and tobacco vanilla. I love to do cherry smoke and tobacco vanilla. It just gives it a little zhuzh. Tobacco vanilla is perfect on its own. So is lost cherry. I love both of those scents. But tobacco vanilla is like strong, you guys. I mean, it is a lot. I love cherry and tobacco together. And so one day I was just like, I'm just going to like, you know, layer these and see how it goes. And I was like, yes. And so, Anya, thank you so much for this. She gave me a really big clamshell, and I warmed through it, and I had, like, two of these little hearts left, and I was just holding on to it, and I was in the mood for it one day, and it was right before we were meeting for dinner, and I was just like, Anya, I need more of Little Black Dress, and she was like, oh, I got you. I'll bring you, you know, some more, so I was like, okay, so I warmed those two that same day because I knew I was getting more because y'all know me and my hoarder self, but yeah. This is so good if you like tobacco vanilla and you like lost cherry. I think you would like this. It threw forever. I mean, it was such a powerhouse. So good. Little black dress. If you go shop on your site, it's on there. Please try it and let me know what you think. Okay. Next up, I have one from Candles by Victoria. This was gifted to me by my friend Nicole. So, Nicole, if you're watching, thank you so much. Nut House, I forgot what it is, but it's like a almond pistachio, maybe walnut. It's beautiful. I loved it so much that I warmed half of it and then I went to the website and ordered six more of these scent shots and a loaf of it. That's literally the only thing I ordered from Candles by Victoria. I know they have a lot of other like scents, but I'm just obsessed with this one, you guys. So I just went back and ordered that. And then once I placed my order, I finished the scent shot. I'm such a psycho. It's just the most beautiful almond pistachio, just nutty. It's gorgeous. It's sweet. 
it's nutty, it's everything. And it is a banger, you guys. I did half of this in a shot in two warmers in my office and it just like blew me out of my house. Amazing, if you like nutty scents like me, you definitely need to try Nut House. Phenomenal. And then from Yummer's Delight, I warmed I Love You to the Moon. I think Christine gifted this to me. So Christina, if you're watching, thank you so much. This is fresh baked bread, lavender milk, and wild berry mousse. And yeah, I did this in my office and it was good. It wasn't like the strongest performer. It was a solid, probably medium, but I did it in my office and my two warmers in here. And it was just a really nice like wild berry bakery. The lavender milk, I didn't get that much. I just basically got the bread and the wild berry mousse, which I'm not mad about, but I really liked it. It was fun and it was the first time I had ever tried anything from Yummers. Next up is from That Smell Good Shop. This is called Open Water, Coconut Cream, Toasted Praline, and Baked Cookies. This was gifted to me by my friend Tara. So Tara, thank you so much. Y'all, I really loved this one. It was like a creamy coconut bakery, but it was so rich and creamy. It was really, really nice and a really strong performer. I did, this was six cubes and I did it in my open concept. It did really well and I loved it. Would definitely repurchase. Next from 30A Scents, this is a new sample that I just got in my most recent order. Ocean Mist, aquatic blend of sea salt, spicy floral, musk, and golden amber. You guys, I warmed this in my bedroom bathroom. It is so incredibly good. I wish I could tell you what it was that this reminds me of, but I just can't put my finger on it. But it is the most beautiful aquatic, almost perfumey, a little bit. I think it's the golden amber and the floral, but it's not too floral. It's so good, you guys. It's like a beachy, sunscreeny, almost perfume, and it's gorgeous. I actually asked Teresa when her next pre-order is, and she said late May possibly, and I asked her if she was going to be bringing this and the strawberry boom boom sent to her pre-order and she said she wasn't planning on bringing ocean mist but she was going to do the strawberry boom boom but she said she was probably going to add ocean mist to the pre-order because of the great feedback that she's gotten on these samples and i'm so glad so she offers this in may i will probably get it in a loaf because i loved it it did so well for me it was so good okay next up from little blue coop this is sweet dreams which i don't know the scent notes on here but i think it's a lavender blend and this was kindly gifted to me by christine from christine scent scene it's a lavender i think bakery so this did really well for me i had never heard of little blue coop and i never wanted their stuff but it was a really nice like sweet lavender and I loved it. I would definitely repurchase it if I ever place an order with that shop. It did so well. Next up from Teddy B's, I did Sweetheart Cookies. This was a sample that someone gifted to me when I purchased from their D-Stash. And I love Sweetheart Cookies. I've actually found some. And I'm so excited to have more of it. It's like pink sugar and sugar cookies. And maybe something else. But it is gorgeous, you guys. It's one of my favorites. It's so good, and um, if it ever comes back in a pre-order, would definitely purchase loaves of it. It's amazing. Uh, next from Southbound, I warmed Wild Berry Jam Donuts. This is Wild Berry Jam, Powdered Donuts, and Brown Sugar Crumble. This was a sample in one of the pre-orders that I did from Southbound, and I loved it. Her Wild Berry Jam is really good, and then you really get that doughy donut note. It's just really good. It was really strong for me. I did it in my office. I like wild berry jam, so loved this one. Next up from Salt Mountain Melt, I finished up the souffle of bedtime snack, lavender marshmallow and strawberry white cake. I am obsessed with this, you guys. I really want her to bring it back. I purchased this as well as another loaf of it from Kaylee in a D-Stash, and so I'm so happy that I have another loaf. This was poured in 2021. And it threw so, so well. So Salt Mountain Melts has a really good shelf life. Next from Zape, I warmed the Hamptons, Sea Salt, Amber, Ocean Breeze, and Money. I loved this one, you guys. I need to order from Zape. It has been a really long time since I placed an order. But to me, this smells like aquatic and beautiful. I love the sea salt. It just makes it. And this was a really strong performer. I would definitely repurchase it. That is the Hamptons. 
Next up from Salem Soy Co., this is the Mixing Bowl, Strawberry Pound Cake, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Butter, Vanilla Frosting, and Birthday Cake. This was given as a sample from someone that I purchased a de-stash from, and I think her name is Jessica, and she is an admin for Salem Soy, and so she was like, I'm going to throw some in for you to try because I had never heard of or tried it before, and this was good. It wasn't as strong, um, but I did it in my bedroom bathroom. And it was just a little bit, so maybe I should have did it in my office and, like, closed the door because there was just a little bit left. But um, I would definitely try it again. It smelled really good on cold, and I know a lot of people, like, really like Salem Soy, so I definitely have them on, you know, my two purchase from, if not this year, then maybe next year. I don't really think I gave it, like, a fair shot, so I would definitely try again. Next up from L3 Waxy Wonders, I warmed baby. It's cold outside. This is roasted chestnuts, hot cocoa, ooey gooey mellow, and sweet cream. This was gifted to me by my friend Aubrey, Aubrey Trabert here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Aubrey. I really liked this. I warmed this on like a colder day when it was like deciding if it was going to be spring or winter and it was winter that day so i did this in my office that day and i really liked it it was very nutty and creamy and nice i did smell the cocoa but it wasn't like i didn't hate it in there and i loved the chestnuts and the sweet cream it was really really nice and it was a really strong thrower another one that was gifted to me by my friend aubrey this is day 10 from broadway wax Iced cookies, bet your butterscotch, country cream, and peach meringue. So this one, you guys, this one um, was a pretty good performer. I did it in my bedroom. I think I did it in my bedroom bathroom. Um, but yeah, it was very creamy with the butterscotch. I didn't get a whole ton of peach. I think it was because it was peach meringue. So it was like a creamier toned down version of the peach. And for me, not really liking butterscotch or peach, I really didn't mind this one. And it did really well. So that is from Broadway Wax. I don't know if they're still open or not. Someone let me know down below if you know. From Fantasy Wax, I finished the chosen one. This is Honey Butter Rolls, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cornbread. I really liked this one. Did it in my office. And yeah, this was... um. To me, more of the bready notes and the blackberry jam butter cookies was there, but not as strong. And um, I liked it. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but um, I, I mean, I liked it. Okay. And it performed pretty well. Next up, I warmed three cakes on the beach from Scoopable Wax Melts. This is toasted marshmallow, salty sea air, and s'mores. So beach nights and then blended with her three cakes, which is birthday cake cupcakes at tiffany's and yellow cake i think yellow cake birthday cake and cupcakes at tiffany's i think that's what it is and so tara gifted me one of these and then i just immediately went and picked up some more i'm obsessed it was just a really heavy bakery and beach nights and i loved it such a strong thrower i did it in my open concept and it was really really great in there loved it would repurchase it and then lastly, I have Baby Bop from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is strawberry, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean Noel. This is one of my favorites. I love this one so much. I always say that it sounds basic, but when you smell it, it smells anything but basic. It's just so good. This is from August of 2022, and it performed really well for me. When Julie opens, would definitely repurchase, but I think I have a few more like backups. Okay, so that's all the vendor wax. And then I've got quite a few like self-care type of empties. So I'll try to go fast because I know this is probably a super long video. Um, but first up, I just have this Vampire Blood Bath and Body Works soap from like October of last year. It was in my son's bathroom and um, he finished it. So I really like that scent and he does too. He likes like the vampire, you know, spooky stuff. So he loved that, and so do I. It's one of my favorites. It's really fun and, like, fruity. Let me see the notes. Red berries, night-blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. Okay, I also got through some Olay Collagen Cleansing and Firming Body Wash. I couldn't really tell that it did anything for cleansing and firming, but it made me feel better because it had collagen. 
So, I mean, whatever. I would repurchase it because I didn't mind it. I like the smell, whatever. And I mean, every little bit helps because Lord knows I've got a lot of cellulite and I need firming. So, you know, it makes me feel better to buy stuff with that in there. Um, I think the rest of this is like skincare. Yep. Okay. So first up from the same, I have Healing Tea Garden Green Tea Cleansing Wipes. I got these in Korea and I really like these. I don't really use cleansing wipes to like cleanse my face. I like to use them when I'm traveling, like on the planes. I don't wear makeup on planes for like international flights. When I go to Korea, it's like 22 hours to get there. And so I like to take these to kind of like freshen up. Um, and so, yeah, I got through these. I really liked them. They did really well at like cleaning the makeup off my hands or making me feel refreshed. I liked the green tea scent and then like the... The tissues themselves were like not thin, but they weren't super thick, but they really did a good job of, of cleansing your face. I don't know if that makes sense. So I would definitely repurchase these. Oh, here's another body care. Sorry about that. I finished a Tree Hut Vanilla Shea Sugar Scrub. This was gifted to me by my friend Courtney from Courtney Scent Society. And um, yeah, I've been trying to do better about exfoliating at least once a week but I'm trying to do twice a week. And so I really loved this and now I'm using the body butter and I love it so much. Uh, would definitely repurchase it. I really enjoyed that scent. Thank you again, Courtney. It was so sweet of you to send me all of that tree hut. All right, next up, I finished an Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This was a little sample size that came in like a gift set. I really like their um, brightening stuff with the vitamin C. I have some of the serum and I really enjoyed this eye cream. I've been using it for a while. I kind of rotate my eye creams and I use like a brightening one for the day and then like a moisturizing retinol or something at night. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Would definitely repurchase it. I got through an Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I love this stuff, you guys. I've been using it for years. I usually buy these at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale because they're like $65. Normally, they're like, I don't know, $80 or $90, which is pricey. Elemis is pricey. That's why I always try to stock up at the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. This lasts me like six months at least, maybe longer. I like to keep one in my shower, and then I like to keep one in my bathroom for when I do my you know, skincare routine. But yeah, I love this. We we'll definitely repurchase it. But I have another one already from July from the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I had bought. So just, you know, replaced it with that one. It's nice to have a backup. And I'm sure in July or August, whenever it is this year, I'll buy another one just to stock up because it really is a good cleanser. It makes your skin feel clean without feeling stripped. And I really like it. Okay. More Elemis stuff. I got a lot of Elemis like gift sets for Christmas. And so that's where these came from. This is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I really like this stuff, you guys. It's just the balm. Like I do the two-step cleanse. And um, so it's a balm. You rub it in your hands and it kind of emulsifies into an oil. You rub it on your face and massage it in your skin and it breaks down your makeup. And then you add a little bit of water and it just removes everything. And while I like this, it is very pricey. And I have found that Vanilla Co., which is a Korean brand, and it was the first cleansing balm I ever tried. It's about $15 and it works much better because I just started using it after this ran out. I just went back to Vanilla Co. because I've got a lot of stuff that I like, you know, rotate in and out. And the Vanilla Co. works better. It's less effort. It's the same thing. And it's a fraction of the price because I think these are like $65, if I'm not mistaken, which if you like it and you've got it, go ahead. But I like the vanilla code just as much or better because it works better in my opinion, especially for like eye makeup, like liquid eyeliner. It just comes right off. It's like amazing. Okay. And then another one from Elemis is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I really like this for like daytime moisturizer. And I got it in one of those skincare sets. Really liked it. It smells very fresh and really nice. It's very moisturizing without being too heavy. And it's, you know, pro collagen, which is what I need. However, y'all know I'm just like a K-beauty fanatic. And um, I kind of just rotated this in because I got it for Christmas. But um, I'm back to my K-beauty moisturizer. So I like this, but would I pay full price for it and repurchase it? Probably not. Okay, next up is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I have been using this serum for like 
what feels like a thousand years. I used to work for Estee Lauder and um, I worked with a lady who was 75 years old and she looked about 50, maybe younger. Her skin was amazing. And I was like, what do you do? Please tell me your secrets. I want to look like you when I'm 75. And she said she used this. Uh, morning and night and so ever since then I was like okay I'm buying it immediately and I've been using it ever since I use it with a bunch of you know Korean skincare and different ampules serums things like that but I feel like this has just been a staple in my skincare routine for years and I will definitely repurchase it it's amazing and then lastly this is not skincare but it's an urban decay all-nighter like setting spray and I love this stuff. I'm sure there's other ones out there, but I've been using it for so long that I just repurchase it. I like to get the two packs when they're on sale because uh, I like to save money. And um, so, yeah, I just went ahead and put the other one that came in the two pack on my vanity right there. And I um, love this, but definitely repurchase it. It works really well for me. So, whew, that was a long video, you guys, and that's everything. That's Scentsy, that's Vendor, Skincare, Self Care, Empties for the month of March. You're still here. Thank you for sticking with me. That was a long video, uh, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know what some of your favorites were that you warmed this month, and let me know what you're going to be warming for April. I still haven't even pulled my melting basket, so who even knows? I may just try to finish up March and February and just dump them together and try to finish those this month. Who even knows? Can't believe it is already April though. It's crazy how fast this year is going. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. I hope you have a happy Easter. If you have a moment, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.